G'day everyone, here we go. We've got a bit of a search and got a bit of show and tell. Check this one out here. Try and get it in the right light. Oh, probably can be a bit hard with the plastic, isn't it? But um, I probably should take it out of the plastic. But there we go, a 1669 Witham. Uh, it's a Great Britain Essex coin. So this is my oldest coin at this stage. There you go. What's it say there? Is that Robinson? George Robinson. I wonder what that little structure is there. Looks like something to make whiskey or something. I don't know. <laughs> like a still or something like that. But it says on the back of this little tag here, a Great Britain Witham Essex Farthing, 1669. So, yep, won that one at an auction just recently. I was bidding on some ancient coins too, but I was unsuccessful on snagging those ones. But 1669, a few hundred years ago. So, that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Pretty show and tell. All right. Well, let's see what we've got here on this little search. Got the, oh yeah, you got the toothpick. Ready to go. G'day, Magic. How's it going? Tyler, I'm going well, thanks. Going well. Got a bit of a coffee here, so have a bit of a coffee while I'm going. Ah, oh, yeah. All set. G'day, official vine page. How's it going? The Damascus is ready to unlock what's in these rolls. Um... Where do we start? G'day, Tracy. How's it going? Um, or maybe I'll take, uh, I'll field what people want to see. What would you like to see first? We've got five cents, ten cents, twenty cents, fifty cents, and one dollar coins. Magic says twenty cents. We'll go with that. First person out of the gate. There we go. All right. I appreciate everyone letting me know too. Open up a roll of Cadbury chocolate. Oh yeah, roll of Cadbury chocolate. Mm. Nice. The coffee I'm um, actually drinking has got a bit of chocolatey type flavours in it, so pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. 20 cent coins. Let's get into this little search here. Actually, just before I do, I'll just check a couple of little comments. Well, let's go. Green Valley, how's it going? Number one filter badge. All right. What's the highest coin value? Oh, I don't really know. Like, there's lots of there's some coins that are worth a lot of money. Um, probably into the millions of dollars. But yeah, um, for circulating coins, oh man, there's some that can go up into the twenties of thousands, like a nine seventy seven fifty cent coin that's got the coat of arms. Just about all of them have got the. Uh, Silver Jubilee design. Just caught you on my break. Great timing. Nice one, nice one. Mac, how did this hobby start? Well, for me, it started by finding a coloured $2 coin. And then I heard them talking in the radio about that particular coin, that they're worth about $6 to coin collectors. And that's sort of, I found that interesting that a $2 coin's worth $6 to some people. So that's what started my interest and did a lot of learning from there. And um, yeah, here we are. Have you got a red poppy coin? I do, but maybe not the one that you're thinking of. So I've got, this is a red poppy from 2022. So that's a red poppy coin, uh, 2022. But I don't have a 2012 red poppy. So that's probably the one that maybe you're referring to. All right, we'll keep going with the, the 20s. This one might have been in the bottom of a whale, so hopefully people's dreams came true that put it there. <laughs> um, Keyshop, hey, how's it going? Uh, Andy says, you'd be happy with Collingwood this year, Mocker. Yes, I am happy with Collingwood this year. <laughs> Things are going pretty good this this stage. Yep. Yep. Who do you, who do you support there? Yourself. Mac says, how often do you find a coin worth a lot? Um, oh, what's your definition of a lot? Because everyone's, yeah, definition of valuable and a lot is sort of different. So I don't actually really search that many coins. I only really search the, the stuff that I look for in these rolls. Like I used to search heaps. I used to search like, say like a hundred dollar lot of 20 cent coins. So like rolls and rolls and rolls of them, but um, like in a city. But I was doing lots of trips to and from the banks, like back and forth, and um, 
so I wanted to ease up on going back and forth from the banks all the time and putting pressure on the bank. So um, I just sort of scaled it back a little bit and I just uh, do a few rolls each day. Michael, nice name. Yeah, <laughs> nice one. Yes, I appreciate the, uh, the gifts there. Key shop. I'm sorry, Michael, I have to ask since you're a Conagle supporter, do you have all your teeth? Yes, I do actually, yeah. Yeah, how about that? Oh, I, well, I've had my uh, wisdom teeth removed, but causing a few little issues. Do the ladies at the bank still help you out? Yeah, some of them do. Uh, there's been a, a fair amount of turnover in some of the regular banks I go to, like a fair amount of turnover in the staff. Like there's, I don't think there's anyone left that was originally there when I first sort of started. Like, yeah, so there's a bit of fair bit of turnover. Uh, Paul says, got a 1973.50 cent yesterday, Michael. Oh, awesome. Yeah, a bit of a lower mintage date, that one. Good one. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, 10 cent coins. Here we go. Do you make money from this? Um, I, it's, you, you can't not make money in, in that the coins that you don't want, you take back to the bank and put them through the coin deposit machine. So you always get your money back. You're only putting aside coins like this one that are worth a little bit more. So this 10 cent coin here, between $2 and $4 is a recent selling price range. So 3.9 million mintage. Cool. We got the best name. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Uh, Andy says, lots of mums work in banks and they come and go. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, people's circumstances change and yeah. Appreciate the gifts there. Cool little, was it a power hug? Nice one. Oh yeah, mixing them, <laughs> mix them up. Nice one. Sweet, thank you. I remember the 1999 10 cent have the blob of metal on the bird. Okay, yeah, I'll try and keep an eye for that. 99s. Here we go, 99. So we'll flip this one over. This one's the small head. We'll flip it over. So whereabouts is a blob of metal? Is it usually, usually on the feathers is where you can find a blob of metal, usually through here, but is there somewhere else um, that you might find that blob of metal on the bird? I'll have a bit of a look around anyway and see if I can see anything standing out. Can't see anything there. All right. Onward. Oh, nice. New Zealand, 10 cent coin. Cool. I do like these. What year is this one? 1980. Cool, cool, cool. A little bit of dirt there. Let's see if that comes off with a little toothpick. Boom, 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 boom. Go on. Dirt be gone. Nice. Are there some of you know don't have rotation? Are there some you know don't have rotations? Yeah, yep. I've never seen these coins before. Cool, nice one. A little drink of coffee. Now, yeah, I've got a few more rolls to go, but um, I'll, I'll do a little bit of show and tell with this coin here. I just picked up from a an auction, or I, I wanted an auction. So it's in a little um, plastic case, so I'll, yeah, so I'm not touching it, but um, at this stage. But it's a 1669 farthing coin. So this is probably my oldest coin at this stage. So 1669, that's a few hundred years ago. Yeah, that's right. So um, what's it got on this side? It's got George Robinson. It says George Robinson. So I don't know if he was king or something like that. Or it looks like some sort of a steel or something like that uh, on that one there. But yeah, it's from um, England. So Great Britain, Witham, Essex. Farthing, 1669. So there you go. Cool. I was bidding on a few, um, yeah, bidding on a few ancient coins, like a few thousand years old, but I was outbid. Someone outdid me. Um, but anyway, that's the way it goes. All right, we'll do a five cent roll here. Autumn, that's amazing. Oldest coin is a 1899. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I like old coins. It's a very small coin, that. Um, that farthing. 
I said a while ago, I found a Canadian sovereign gold coin. Oh, nice. The one with the dude on the horse fighting the dragon. Oh, yeah. I, I got one of those too. Yeah. Um, I'll show it. I'll probably show this in another video, but yeah. I'll, um, I've got the coins in my hands. It's a bit hard to sort of show, but that one there, the gold sovereign. That's cool, isn't it? I've been wanting one of these for ages, so pumped to pick that up. That's a... 1878 gold sovereign from Australia that one but um, yeah obviously yours is from Canada nice uh, official vine boat says I've heard the 1995 cent can be rotated okay I'll keep an eye out for that uh, okay I researched as much as I could to find its value because it was a different uh, a little different okay nice I have one slightly older than that. Yeah, want me to send it to it? Yeah, <laughs> that'd be nice. Yes, um, why not? <laughs> oh man, gold sovereigns. Cool, cool, cool. So what was it? It was a 1995 cent coin official vine page it was saying to keep an eye out for. 1990. Two thousand and one. Egghead says, "In the belly of the horse was a square. Then there was a handprint of the square. Very weird. Yeah, I think the earlier gold sovereigns with the Saint George and the dragon. They he used to hold a spear. It used to be a spear that was broken off, and then they changed the design to him holding a sword in his hand. So some of the earlier ones was a spear that was broken, and then was changed to a sword. Might be something to do with that. Get our uniquely vinyl. How's it going?" Should check that one. 1993. It's a little bit damaged, a bit hard to read that date. Okay, Shop says, I found a 2021 $2 ambulance Victoria with a rotation. Oh, okay, nice one. Nice. And one checking for flamingos on those. I appreciate the gift there, thank you. That one looked like it had a bit of extra rim, maybe. That's why I sort of stopped it a little bit and it rolled away. No, no, it might have just been a bit of light shining. So there's no extra raised section of rim on that coin. Yeah, anyway. All right, on to the 50 cent rolls. We'll do the 50. So we've got the Commonwealth Games coin on there and the coat of arms. Evening from New York again, Michael. G'day, Tim. How's it going? You guys getting this brutal heat in Australia, or is it winter there? Yeah, it's winter here. Yeah, so it's pretty, pretty fresh. Pretty fresh. It's pretty cool this morning. I was wearing a couple of jackets when when I walked to walk down the street. So yeah, okay. So it's pretty warm over there. Is it in the US? Yeah, okay. Someone's saying, why do you forbid screenshots? Um, I don't forbid screenshots. When did I when did I say I forbid screenshots? I didn't. Finally, you've gone live on a, a lunch break. Oh, nice one, Jake. There you go. Tim, over 100 Fahrenheit, 30 degrees Celsius in old money. Uh, is it? Okay, I thought over 100 was a bit more than 30 degrees. Oh, I'm not too sure in Celsius. I thought I thought 100 was like probably closer to 40, but I, yeah, I don't know. Lovely nine degrees here, says Uniquely Vinyl. Yeah, it's pretty, it's a little bit sunny outside today. Nice day outside, but yeah, it's still winter time, so it's um, not your hot setup. up. 
All right, these 2010s can be rotated. Let's check this one out to see if it's rotated. Um, why all the caps? I'm not too sure. What's the caps? Calm down. Oh, yeah. yeah, I thought it was like 37 degrees. Yeah, I, I thought 100 degrees Fahrenheit was, was yeah, really pushing up high into the 30s, maybe even 40s, like up into the 40s, but um, I'll have to sort of do the conversion on uh, in the part of the US, it is can get to 50 degrees Celsius regularly at the hottest part of the day. Whoa, 50 degrees. That is serious. Um, 16 where you are, Keyshop. Nice. Yeah, screenshots. Yeah, I don't know. I've got no idea. Like, that maybe it's just the way that the default setting is something about screenshots. I, don't, no, I haven't set anything up like that. Anyway, onward. Good luck with the mule. Yeah, that's right. So the $1 coins. Oh, check this out, guys. Look at that. Just open that up, and what's this? A little sneaky little, um, not a dollar coin. Let's count how many we've got. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Ah, oh, so we've been shortchanged. Let's see if this one's, this might be a foreign coin. It just has a feel like it's not an Australian coin. So let's see if we can make up for the fact that we're down a dollar. Oh, there we go. New Zealand, um, 50 cent coin. So... Instead of a dollar, we got 50 cent coin. We got 50 cents. But um, who knows? I might be able to sell that on eBay for more than <laughs> more than a dollar. I'll put it aside anyway. It's got a little bit of dirt on it or something. I'll try and get that off. Ripped off. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Casey says, 23 here in Queensland, but overcast, rainy and windy, but still warmer than you guys down south. Why? Why are you? Why are you so keen for the screenshots? What's? What's? You want to screenshot everything, do you? I'm not too sure. Can we do a guess of the year? Yeah, we can do a guess of the year. Oh, here we go. Got the U marked coin. So the U underneath the kangaroo here. So these coins between. Um, oh, I'll just find it on the list. There it is. Three dollars to eight dollars thirty-five. All right, we'll do a guess the year on this one. There's probably a little bit of a telltale for what year this one might be. Um, how much is it that 50 cent coin worth? I'm not too sure. There's a book called, um, what's it called? The John Bertrand New Zealand Coin and Banknote Catalog. And that would have a value for this coin. It's a 2006 50 cent coin. Yeah, but um, have a guess what year you think this coin was produced, this $1 coin here. Now, it's got a, that little bit of a black ring on the inside, and that's fairly common on particular years. There's two years that I'm thinking of in particular that that can happen on. So I'm pretty sure it's 85, 84 and 85, but I think this is probably an 85 before I check it out. So, all right, five, four, three, two, one, go. Boom. 84. There we go. It's an 84. All right, Key Shop, you got it. Well done. I'll just scroll back through. Casey, well done. 84. Spot on. Who else? Um, oh, official Vine page. You guessed 84 as well. Well done. So three people. Spot on. Good guessing, guys. Good guessing. Jordan says 50 degrees Celsius is the average high temperature in Death Valley every year. <laughs> average. Whoa. That's um that's a serious place. No messing around in Death Valley. Is the dark ring worth anything? Nah, no, nah, it's just uh, it's a very fairly common actually. Oh, here we go. This next coin's going to be something. S for Sydney Harbour Bridge Great Aussie Coin Hunt twenty twenty one. I wonder why it's called Death Valley with a tent like that. Yeah, that's right. No one lives there, do they? No. Probably not. Um, there we go. Great Aussie Coin Hunt 2021. What do we got price wise? Four to nine dollars. Cool. Hmm. So there you go. This one's got the A, the A privy mark on it little A down here under the kangaroo. So that either have an A, a U, or an S. So I got a U just a moment ago. That one's a bit dirty. But um, yeah, between, what was it about $2 to $8, something like that. Someone says the dark ring is the kids. We used to do them in primary school with pencils. Okay, like, 
right so with the pencil just going around the inside of it okay there you go a and you in the same row oh, that's right yeah it's uh, a little bit unusual highest recorded temperature is 56.7 degrees celsius it's not the hottest place in the world for no reason well we regularly get 122 fahrenheit in my part of arizona man autumn what's going on how do you live there google told me it was 50 degrees celsius jeepers how good's the air conditioning in your place <laughs> must be pretty good a nice big pool although a pool would probably start to warm up fairly significant with those sort of temperatures although sometimes when it's really hot in the daytime it can get pretty cold at night time so i suppose if um, you've got a pool outside it might cool cool right off as well so uh ch -ch 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 jordan i live by the death valley in louisiana <laughs> okay it's the last death of the football stadium is it um 2018 that's i don't know if that's a low mintage date i'll just check on my list no it's not tim says it's a dry heat doesn't feel as miserable without the humidity yeah yep yeah the humidity can really be a different setup can't it Autumn, my electricity bill gets four hundred to five hundred dollars in the summer. Yeah, sun sure is hot. Though. Yeah, you betcha. The sun would definitely be belting down on you. The prefer I prefer when it's around minus ten degrees Celsius, so you can go swimming out. Swimming, swimming in minus ten. It'd be um a, probably a fairly brief, brief swim. Um, yeah, and then warm up again. Here we go. This is a five dollar coin five dollar coin from 1988 sitting on my desk so i thought i'd uh have a bit of a look at it here yep so 1988 five dollar coin uh commemorates i think the maybe the opening of parliament house mm. so that's the parliament house in australia in canberra and uh yeah it's a fairly big large coin so this is a say a 10 cent coin for comparison so it's about twice the size of that it's about twice the thickness of it as well so there's a couple of years where they had uh, five dollar coins. Uh, there was a 1990 five dollar coin. I've got one of those somewhere, but not on my desk. And there's a couple of others too. So there you go. Um, they're not they're not worth that much actually. Official Vine page. Like I, you'd think that they'd be worth a little bit more, but um, I think oh, most of them sell for about ten dollars. These coins. If you jumped on eBay and looked up the 1988 five dollar coin, you could probably get one for about ten bucks, or even maybe slightly under. Some, some of them sell for a little bit over that, but um, yeah, you can get these on eBay for about that. Can you use them still? Yeah, they're legal tender, but shops shops probably wouldn't recognize them. They'd be like, oh, sorry, I'm not accepting that. But if you take them to banks, banks would give you $5 for them. Um, but if you put them on eBay, you get more for them. So <laughs> coin collectors pay more for them than um, five bucks. There's a few different options there, but they are legal tender, yeah. Yep. Um, yeah, so what else what else can i share I'm just yeah i was showing this one just a moment ago this um 1669 try and get in the right position 1669 farthing a few hundred years ago how many years ago is that so i want to do some quick maths if we're in 2023 and that's 1669 how, how old is this coin how many years ago was this coin made i'm not going to do the maths on that in my head might might burst uh, what's someone say that? Yeah, I heard that they made them so you can swap your five dollar note for it in the bank program. Oh, okay. What is the image on the coin? Um, on the other side of the coin, I'm not too sure what that is. It sort of looks a bit like a like a still or something like that. You know, like when they make um, alcohol, they sort of brew it up, and I think the, the spirit rises and comes down the tube. But it's I don't know if they'd be putting that on their currency. Like, here, yeah, this is how you make alcohol. Um, so it's probably something else that's on there. Does anyone know? I'm not too sure. Ah, people are saying 354 years ago. Good maths, everyone. Thanks for letting me know. 354 years ago, this coin was made. That's, um, yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? It makes you sort of think like, you know, most people live to maybe 80. If you're doing really well, 100 years old. But 350 years ago, this coin was made. That's um, that's cool. It is cool. 
It sort of looks like an oil bottle. Yeah, it could be. It could be like a little vessel for storing your liquids. Yeah. But, um, mm, there you go. What else? What else have we got? What else would you like to see? Anyone like to see anything in particular? I'll see if I've got something close by that I can grab um, and share with you. These are some of the things that I've found from today anyway. So yeah, the A coin and the U coin. That's those two coins right there. A coin, U coin. We've got the S for Sydney Harbour. We've got the 10 cent coins. We've got a New Zealand one. We've got a hair there. What's going on with that? See you later. And then we've got a um, New Zealand 50 cent coin. So a couple of New Zealand coins there, 10 cent, 50 cent. Um, have you done the video of the Sphinx yet? No, I haven't. Yeah, so I'll do that's my next video. Um, do you have a kookaburra coin? I don't think I do, no. Do you have the new Vegemite coins? I've got I've got a couple of them. Yeah, I do actually. So I've got... Well, that's the Matilda's coin. No, um, that's the latest coins. But the Vegemite coins, they are here somewhere. Here we go. So I've got the yellow Vegemite coin, the red Vegemite coin, and the black Vegemite coin. Yeah, so that's um that's some of those there. Yeah, have a look at my desk. Yeah, okay. So um, so yeah, I've got a few things over there. Got some of those. Those are the Christmas Beetle fifty cent coins. Those ones you can just hang them on your Christmas tree. I've uh, got some coin rolls that have got interesting enders on them. We've got them in some little tubes and stuff like that, which is cool. A uh, bottle of water. <laughs> Keep hydrated, everyone. Um, and we've got some uh, containers over there that I put coins in, like um, lower mintage coins in particular slots and stuff like that. So I've got a few different containers there. And, yeah, obviously the $2 coins, $1 coins sort of piled up, um, particular things there. And then, yeah, just a bit of a pan around. Um, so <laughs> this sort of started... I rather than sort of just keep on putting them into containers and stuff like that, I just sort of would start to pile them on my desk after a little after my searches. And that's sort of grown into what this is now. So um yeah, got a few things lying around and some of them have got in two by twos. Some are sitting here. But um yeah and then I've also got folders. I've got folders that I've got coins in as well and um more rolls down there to be searching through in the coming days one cent coins and i got stuff out on my shelf out in the living room too to sort of look at and appreciate yeah uh casey said i just looked up the 1669 coin it's a still ah oh, okay ah oh, nice thanks casey yeah that's um so yeah so a still is what they use to sort of make um, beverages, I think, like alcoholic beverages and stuff like that. So I think, yeah, it was sort of on the right track, I think, with that. I'll try and get the right focus. So it's a still. Awesome. Thanks, Casey. Appreciate you um, looking into that. Ah, that's cool. Matt Jenk says, the 10 cent coin in New Zealand is bronze now. Yeah, I think it's because of that. Yeah, so it is a bit different. Yeah, so they're the same size as the Australian 10 cent coins. So they're pretty easy to get caught up. Um, how do you find an address to you? I used to have it in my bio, but um, uh, my post office box is PO Box 205, so 205 Ocean Grove in Victoria, 3226. Yeah, so PO Box 205 Ocean Grove, Victoria, Australia, 3226. Um, how much money do you reckon there would be on the desk? I've got no idea. No, I don't know. And at some stage, I'm going to be sort of moving house, like moving where, from where I am. So I'm going to have to sort of <laughs> package all this up, put it into bags or containers, or I'll have to do a bit of organisation on, on this at some stage. Yeah, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Yeah, all right. Any other questions? Official Bombat says, I'm uh, just scrolling back through a few. My mum once got around 50 cent from an old lady who didn't know if you can spend it or not. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, nice. The around 50 cent coins, they're cool. I like those. Yep. Do you just collect Aussie coins or do you collect other countries as well? Yeah, I do collect coins from around the um, world. So, yeah, i got coins from other countries, but I don't have a lot of them. But it's interesting to go through them, though. I, I don't know much about their values and stuff like that, but I do like going through them. Could you repeat that? Oh yeah, my, my PO box is 
uh, Post Office Box 205, 205, Ocean Grove, Victoria, Australia. And it's 3226 is the postcode. Official fine page, my break's about to finish, so I'm going to head off. Yeah, no worries, have a good one, have a good rest of the day, and um, have a nice afternoon after work. Frankie, how's it going? Joys of new job. Still waiting for the Charles 50p to send you. Oh, okay, <laughs> thanks, Frankie. Um, what time is it over there in the UK? What is it? It's um, about 2, or getting closer to 2 p.m. in the afternoon here in Victoria, Australia. G'day, g'day, Nelly. But um, I would have thought it would be the middle of the night in the UK. Probably is. Don't ask. Okay, right. Okay, I won't ask. 4.37 a.m. Wow. Wow, okay. Oh, well, up early. You're up early. So, you, yeah, you're um, you're on to it. And it's not like you have been up all night or anything. <laughs> what denomination of the Vegemite coins? $2. $2. There is a $1 Vegemite coin as well that was that came out, I think, late last year. Got the color on it as well. Hey, Nelly. I'm going well, thanks. Brent just finished up the live stream, so I'm just sort of um, having a bit of a chat answering a few questions and stuff like that yeah frankie says new job and all that hence why i don't catch you at midnight anymore yeah i've sort of uh, sort of changed a little bit the times that i go live too i used to go live earlier in the morning here but i haven't sort of been going live as early as i used to as well so yeah a bit of changing circumstances all around <coughs> coming at the end yeah yep yeah. What's your rarest coin you have? Oh, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. This one I was just sharing today. This one, I'll try and get the... I'll put my coin, my uh, phone back in here. Some people are getting sick of looking at this. but So this one just arrived today that um, I won at an auction recently. And it's a 1669 farthing coin from Great Britain. So, And Casey looked up that that's a still. So the image on the coin there is a still make a bit of alcohol so yeah the uk were promoting alcohol back then 1669 and yeah so it's five was 354 years old people were telling me in the chat so that's awesome from my oldest coin i wanted to get an ancient coin but um, i got pipped in the auction yeah cool well i might sort of leave it there so thanks everyone for jumping on the live stream appreciate the help in the chat with um researching a few little things and helping me out with some info there and uh i hope you all have a great day and a great night and a great morning frankie <laughs> um yeah so um good times all around all right then we'll catch you later everyone we'll see you later